Is sugar-free lemonade really sugar-free? Well, let's do some experiments to find out. The first test is called Benedict's test. I start by labelling the test tubes and the transfer pipettes to make sure there's no cross-contamination. I then put five mils of the lemonades into each of the test tubes. Next, I place 20 drops of Benedict's solution into each of the test tubes. Benedict's solution is a solution that contains copper and in the presence of glucose, it changes into a bright orange or red brick colour. I then put the test tubes into a hot water bath for two minutes. The positive result for the Benedict's test is a red brick or bright orange colour. So as you can see, the sugar lemonade contains glucose and the sugar-free lemonade contains no glucose. The second test is Acid Benedict's test and it's a test for a different type of sugar called sucrose. Sucrose is table sugar. The first thing we do is put five mils of lemonade in each of the test tubes again but this time we also add hydrochloric acid. Five mils of hydrochloric acid added to each of the test tubes and then the test tubes are boiled in the water bath for five minutes. After five minutes in the water bath we need to neutralize the acid. So to do that we add a few drops of universal indicator and then add a base sodium hydroxide. We're aiming to change the color of the indicator from the red color which indicates an acid to green which indicates that it's neutral. And it's a matter of just going back and forth, checking the colour, until we've got green. Sucrose is a type of sugar that contains two molecules, glucose and fructose. The hydrochloric acid, it acts like chemical scissors and splits the sucrose into glucose and fructose molecules. Sucrose doesn't turn Benedict's solution orange, however glucose does. So we can test for sucrose by first splitting sucrose into fructose and glucose. Next, repeat Benedict's test again. So 20 drops of Benedict's solution and then into the water bath for up to five minutes. So again, we've got a positive result for the lemonade that contains sugar, but we have a negative result for the sugar-free lemonade. So that means that the sugar-free lemonade does not contain sucrose or glucose. So that pretty well concludes that sugar-free lemonade does not contain sugar. However, there is another test we can do as well. This device is a refractometer. We put a few drops of the liquid on the screen and then look through the instrument into the light. You can see there is a line indicating the presence of sugar because the sugar refracts the light. In the sugar-free lemonade, the line is actually on zero, indicating that there's no sugar and no refraction of the light.